My name is Steve Johnson. I'm the Information Security Manager for Orion Health. The reason that healthcare leaders need to be aware of GDPR, or General Data Protection Regulation, is because it's very, very relevant to the healthcare sector in the way that we're managing the information of individuals. GDPR is relevant to healthcare particularly because we're exchanging very sensitive information on a day-to-day -day and hour-by-hour -hour basis between, for example, GP practice and hospital, between healthcare professionals within a hospital setting, for example. That has to be done in a careful way, in a secure way. The existing legislation is just not fit for purpose anymore, and I think that's generally recognised. The technology changes that we've achieved since the 1998 Data Protection Act in terms of the connectivity of systems, the data transfers that we can do rapidly these days, cloud computing, that whole utility computing environment has dramatically changed the way that we process information and process data. There needs to be something different which applies to the current ways of working and the way that we operate now. GDPR doesn't really present a tougher data protection standard for healthcare. It's very much based around the original eight principles from the 1998 Data Protection Act. GDPR just takes that original way of working and applies it in a broader sense to the way that we're working it now. I think we need to look very much at operational practices of what's going on within the organisation. There is a tendency for people to think in quite isolated little silos and try and solve this for themselves, rather than across the sector collaborating more effectively. It's a misunderstanding to think that GDPR is all about IT and something that the IT team will look after. It's more than just looking after databases. GDPR is about working practices, it's about behaviours of the way that people handle information and how they use the underlying IT systems as their toolkit. It's a process to some extent of rediscovery of your own organisation and the way that it exchanges information internally and externally with other parties as well. The introduction of GDPR offers a number of opportunities, I feel, to healthcare organisations. It's very easy to focus on the negative aspects that, that have been publicised around large penalties, about the risks associated with that, uh, around the things that GDPR seems to say we can't do anymore. And I think that's the wrong focus to take. It's an opportunity to improve the trust that individuals have in how we manage their sensitive information and that we're doing so in a careful and responsible and secure way. First action to do tomorrow, make sure that you're talking to your suppliers and your vendors. Understand the capabilities of what they're able to do and how they're able to support you to achieve what you need to do to be compliant. GDPR comes into effect in May next year, 2018. That's not a lot of time left to align practices with what needs to happen to make sure that we are compliant with the law as it will be in that time. Regardless of what happens with Brexit, May next year we will still be part of the EU and GDPR will still apply to everything that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Go and talk to your suppliers and your service providers. Understand how they can help you. Talk to them to enable them to collaborate with you and help you on that journey. We're all in this journey together to be compliant.